Mr. Speaker, it is a great honour for me today to rise and pay tribute to a truly meaningful and historic event that recently took place on Coast Salish territory at the University of British Columbia. I often visited my friend Jim Hart Udansu of Old Masset on Haida Gwaii as he and his team of carvers for months worked on a 55-foot, 800-year-old red cedar totem pole. This, the reconciliation pole, has salmon at its base, representing the cycle of life. A mother bear holds her two cubs. Then comes the break. A residential school, a government-instituted system designed to assimilate and destroy all Indigenous cultures across Canada, in which people nailed copper nails in to represent the lives of each child that was lost. The children with numbers on their chests come next, but they are followed by the four spirit figures, representing the strong cultural roots of First Nations people. Next comes the family, holding the child, representing revitalization of the family and the story today. Two canoes, First Nations and Canadian governments, representing different paths yet tracking together. Eagle rises at the top, representing the hope for the future.